Hey there guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to create custom image galleries in PixieChart. Whether you're looking to give your designs a stylish editorial look or using image gallery layouts in your presentation slides or creating neat looking ebook covers and more, the ways in which you can use today's technique are practically limitless. With it, you'll be able to create perfectly symmetrical layouts without stretching and distorting your images. And should you want to create striking asymmetrical layouts, you can of course do that too. Now, enough talking, how about we jump right in. So here we are near there with nine images on the canvas. Right now, all of these images are displayed in their original dimensions. And as you can see, they vary quite a bit, which results in a rather, let's say, messy look and feel. So how do we go from this to this, that is, how do we take images in a number of different sizes and aspect ratios and create neatly arranged galleries without stretching and distorting our photos? To do so, we'll be using simple rectangular shapes combined with a technique called image masking. So let's delete this mess and let's start preparing our grid. To create our grid, first let's hop over to the graphics panel here in the top left, select shapes and icons and click the rectangle in order to add it to the page. For our one example, we'll be creating a 3x3 three three grid, so let's scale our square up a bit while holding down shift, and we do this simply to ensure that it remains a perfect square as we alter its size. And with its size the way we want, let's now create two copies of this square, move them over here to the right, and select our shape simply by dragging our mouse over them. Now with all of them selected, let's hop up to the alignment tool here above, where we're going to align our selection vertically. And while we're at it, let's also click this little lifesaver that says distribute horizontally. And once we do, you can see that now we've got perfectly even spacing here in between our shapes without having to resort to rulers, guesswork, or even complex calculus. At this point, let's also group our shapes so they now act as a single selection and then let's create two copies of this group and move them down here below. With that done, let's once again select all of our content and head back up to the alignment panel, align our selection to the left, and this time around we'll go ahead and distribute our content vertically instead of horizontally so that we now have even spacing between our rows down here as well. And since we'll be adding some text down here below in a minute, let's keep the gap wider here compared to what we have on the sides. And just like so, we've managed to prepare our symmetrical image grid. Up next, we'll be filling it with images. Now that we've set up our grid, adding images to these squares is pretty straightforward. So the first thing we want to do is add an image to the canvas, and we can do this either by heading up to the graphics panel here, where we can pop open photos and select from a huge range of beautiful royalty-free photos by Unsplash. Or if we'd like to use our own images, we can do so as well here from the uploads panel. For now, let's go ahead and select this one image, and with the image on the canvas, first let's ungroup these squares so that we can work with them individually. And then let's select both the image and the square here on the top left. And with them both selected, we're gonna head up to the toolbar above and find this little icon that says mask. And once we click that one, boom, our image now sits inside the shape we created earlier, easy peasy. Now at this point, if we wanted to change the appearance or the positioning of the image, we can do so by double clicking it. And doing so takes us into this additional editor where we can scale up the image, we can move it around, we can essentially get it to look exactly the way we want. And we can of course repeat this process just as easily for the rest of our content. So let me just speed this up while I fill in the blanks and add some text. Now, if at this point we wanted to change the layout, we can easily do so simply by transforming the rectangles whichever way we'd like. And the beauty is we can do this without stretching the images or causing any distortion whatsoever to the original dimensions. And that, folks, is how we can use simple rectangular shapes and image masking to create whatever gallery layout we can dream up. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. And as always, thank you for watching and happy picture chatting.